outside it is a beautiful winter's day so i think that means it's time for a little bit of comfort food a little bit of pumpkin pie well hello guys and welcome back to pam's harvest craft it has been a little while i took a bit of a break over christmas unfortunately all the christmas decorations are gone now and it's the new year and actually my best friend came to stay with me for a couple of weeks so i decided to go afk wow that is a weird word for being social but whatever now you guys might be able to hear Yep, <laughs> this dude, this dude's still hanging around. And uh, I decided to keep the Christmas chests for a little bit longer because I just like them. Isn't it lovely? Look at all this snow. Isn't it beautiful? But we still have things to do. So no more Christmas stuff. Uh, but I realized that it's probably time that we did something in lieu of a storage place, but also somewhere to keep all of our lovely animals. First of all, though, I'm going to pop over to the village because I need to go and get the other llama that we tamed. And um, I may be taking these ones as well, especially if you trample my crops, sir. Um, I've decided to call her Clove if she's still there. And we also need to get naming the village. Before we go, though, guys, um, I have a little surprise for you because it is very cold out here and my arms are starting to get a bit chilly. Waha, look at that. I've got a brand new jumper, a brand new haircut. Let's have a quick look at it from the back. It's got little leaves on it. And my arms are kind of skinny now. I didn't realize that the other skin that I had was for like the Steve character and this one is for like the Alex character. Look at my little skinny arms. <laughs> Now this skin was actually made by the wonderful Zombini on Twitter. You should definitely go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description because I think Zombini is still taking commissions and this is not the only skin that I got. Anyway, that aside, let's head over to the village. Now I had a great suggestion from, I think it was Matthew Adams, who suggested that we call the village Fallen Fern Hollow, obviously referring to this like large fern, which is dead at the moment you know because because it's winter <laughs> and i thought that was a great idea but i think i'm just gonna adjust it ever so slightly so what tends to happen in the uk is over time uh town names kind of change like because people get lazy and how they say them so instead of fallen fern hollow i thought we could go with fern fell hollow because it's a bit shorter it's a little bit easier to say and i think that that suits this place really nicely time to eat a pumpkin pie nom 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 this is going to be the main produce that these guys are going to be producing. Ah, yes, my lovely clove. There she is. And I forgot to bring a lead. <laughs> Apparently, I also need to be drinking more water. Clove should be fine for now, actually, because she's tamed, so she won't despawn. So I'm just going to leave her here until I can be bothered to like bring a lead back. But I think what we'll do now, guys, is I'm actually going to head over to the barn. I have got an idea for it. So it's going to be kind of like a barn slash animal pen you know where we can keep all of the things like that chicken down there that's looking at me for some reason <laughs> don't know why um so we're gonna have animals and storage and i think shall we get started first part of the design um i also went ahead and started kind of plotting out the inside because i want there to be i was gonna say cells but <laughs> that's maybe not the right word little little areas for for the animals to be inside so they're not like all cramped in here although this is still pretty cramped but well never mind at least they'll be fed at least they'll be warm you know and dry <laughs> Now I'm thinking about putting a window in that section up there. I just wanted to kind of get the shape of the front right and uh, some of the details as well. I used a lot of trap doors and, and I'm really liking using these note blocks in these kind of Tudor-esque buildings because it really breaks it up and obviously I've used the same kind of block palette as I did over there. Um, I saw Mythical Sausage put dirt in his build and I thought what a great way to save on brick because I don't have a lot of that. Now I'm going to think about these 
these walls, these slightly larger sections. So uh, let's get on with that, shall we? And there we are guys it is all finished this actually took me a while because um i actually ended up finishing this in a stream last week which was a pretty good one because uh i actually told a fairy tale if you're interested i will be trying to do that kind of every wednesday was my aim kind of like a fairy tale stream and uh if you're around this week although this video is probably going to come out after that but if you were around i'm probably going to be telling a story about princesses by popular demand now, obviously, the same thing happens that always happens whenever I'm hanging out on here. This guy, this guy turns up and makes a nuisance of himself. So I have commandeered, I have commandeered his llamas. They are mine now. So we have <laughs> cinnamon and nutmeg and you guys can name these guys. I want, I want herbs and spices. And I think what we'll need to do is give them different carpets while we don't have name tags to tell them apart. And then poor old Clove. Poor old Clove is still over in the village, so I'll have to go and get her at some point. I came in here to grab some dye for the sheep, but actually whilst I'm here, I can show you guys what the top area looks like. Now, obviously, the uh, the Christmas chests are not going to stay, so it looks a little bit weird at the moment. I kind of last minute added this archway. I guess it could kind of come to the middle as well, just to kind of finish it off. Hang on. One there... And one there. Yeah, that looks good. Let's do it around the other side as well. Oh, I've ran upstairs. Never mind. I'll come finish that later. But anyway, I've kind of set it up so that we have places to put like trophies, especially because I've got like the mob heads turned on and the wandering trader is selling heads. I just don't have any emeralds to give him yet. And I've also made myself like a little station over here. So we've got somewhere to do uh, yeah, various things that you need to do in Minecraft. <laughs> Now, the other thing I was going to mention is I just got an email saying that Pam has just done a little bit of updating to the food core mod. So Harvest Craft food core, you will be blue and you will be red. Let's have the wool, shall we? Lovely, lovely. Let me in. So yeah, the food core update basically is, oh, oh give me more. <laughs> Right, stop being distracted by sheep gaffers. Uh, the food court update is a very small one and it just means that we're going to have stuff like uh, sunflowers are going to be in the game because they used to be like sunflowers that Pam had made but obviously now it exists like in normal Minecraft. So we've got roasted sunflower seeds and a couple of other little things. I haven't personally updated my game yet but I will do that before the next episode. Give me a wool. Right, let's see what these guys look like, shall we? I think we will go for... Oopsie, hello. <laughs> Blue for you. Oh, very nice. And you, sir, will be red. Oh, how fancy. There we go, now we can tell these llamas apart. <laughs> the other thing I was thinking about, guys, is this area here is now looking kind of empty. I mean, obviously the snow has the effect of making it look a little bit emptier. Hopefully this will have melted by next episode. But I'm thinking next to the garden here, it might be nice to have a little orchard, especially because we have a couple of fruit trees that are off there in the distance that we could just kind of help ourselves to. If you smack them with a pair of shears, it's a little bit faster if they're ripened. They should. Oopsie. <laughs> yep, they should drop uh, this. Now, this is interesting. So that's the actual peach that I accidentally just picked. Uh, but this is like the placeable peach fruit. So I could whack that on any kind of tree I wanted to. I could whack that on a jungle tree if I wanted to. So you can make some kind of like weird hybrid fruit trees. I think we'll just go for like normal looking ones at the moment. And uh, we'll maybe experiment with weird ones later. 
I'm trying to think if I've ever actually seen a peach tree in real life, and I'm not sure that I actually have. My mum's got some plum trees in her garden, which I guess would be kind of similar. I personally like trees that are a little bit on the gnarly side, so kind of leaning like that, and maybe with one branch coming up here on this side. But I don't want to make it too low, because obviously we've got to have somewhere for the fruit to hang. Small trees are a lot harder than big trees because you really want to avoid them looking too symmetrical and that is like what can happen sometimes if you're building one of these like slightly smaller trees. Let's bring that down a little bit and maybe this one here, this one here, maybe one here and some droopy leaves. You gotta get in there with your shears, give it a good haircut. <laughs> All right, small peach tree. I think that's as good as you're going to get. Let's give you some peaches. I really need to practice my trees, man. Right, I need to stop picking at it and just leave it at this point, I think. I mean, it's not great from every angle, but it'll do. And there we go. I've added a slightly derpy looking cherry tree as well. <laughs> I think there is like an avocado tree somewhere up there, which seems a little bit strange because to me, like avocados grow in Spain. Um, oh, and an apple tree. I didn't realize from a distance. I thought that was a, a cherry tree, but it's actually an apple tree. So we're going to get that at some point. I am just too lazy right now. <laughs> What I would actually like to do instead is something that I don't often say that I look forward to and that is actually I would quite like to build a nether portal and the reason I'm coming over here is because one of the ideas I had was to actually build a second tower slightly over to this way that perhaps that we will put the nether portal inside uh, but maybe make it look a lot more ruined than this one. I think this time we'll just build the nether portal because there are a few things that I do need from the nether uh, which is part of the uh, the tweaks, the, the crafting tweaks that I have and will allow us to make some things that we can't get from mobs that are no longer in the game. Down we go into the mines. I actually finished this by the way. It's looking pretty good actually, although the, the, the texture pack does look it a little bit weird. <laughs> the green and the, and the snow. The snow has made its way all the way down here. Now I'm pretty sure I have some obsidian somewhere. Uh, not sure exactly where. Okay, I've looked through all these chests and apparently I don't have any obsidian, but I know there is some in here somewhere and I do have this diamond pickaxe. And I believe, oh look look at that, right here, I believe in my backpack is where I put a lot of my precious stuff. So yeah, I've got a few more diamonds here. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That should be enough for another portal, right? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Right, so I need to measure this properly. So this is the center of the building. So the second one should be over here somewhere. Maybe we could have it like going slightly into the water. I will have to move this uh, contraption, but that's fine. We can deal with that. Let's yeah, let's have it like over here somewhere. I've marked out where the building is going to go. I've made it 15 blocks away from this one and it's going to be set slightly further back. So the middle of this one will line up kind of with the front of this one. Maybe I should move it forward. I oh, know, I'm, co I'm committed now, I'm committing to it. So what we need to do is get the nether portal in the middle. Good old dirt scaffolded nether portal. And there it is. Although I've just realized that I need to empty my inventory before we, <laughs> before we go doing anything too rash. As I was emptying my stuff, I realized I have like 37 levels. So it'd probably be a good idea to try and enchant this pickaxe with silk touch before we go because there's quite a few things that I need to bring back with me. <laughs> Unbreaking efficiency. <laughs> Typical. Oh, fortune three. Um, I guess I have to keep that. <laughs> All right, third time's the charm. Oh my gosh, it's even worse than what I had before. Well, I guess I'll try again when I get back. Under the cover of darkness, guys. Let's go. Ooh, a soul sand valley. <gasps> Look at the striders. Look at them. Definitely taking this bone. Ooh, that sound. Let's have some of this as well. Wee. Oh my god, that one's got baby riding on its back. That is so cool. 
Oh, I've just spotted a crimson forest up there just through the fog and I did see something else. Oh look, you can see a floating sword there guys. Yep, there are a couple of mobs in the nether, but only the ones I want to be here. Hello sir. Can I just be on my way? Thank you. Thank you kindly. So the nether is still dangerous, but like not as dangerous. Like if I wasn't wearing gold, these guys would definitely be coming after me. And there should be the zombified piglins as well, but I don't think they spawn in this particular biome. But you'll notice we are sans certain horrible piggy friends that I don't like. Now the reason I'm here is actually for all of this stuff that's on the floor. I believe this is Walked Root. Oh nice, I didn't realise you got it on the floor as well. It's a shame that I couldn't get the Silk Touch though because that means we could take some of this... What was it? Nylium? Yeah, this one's Nylium and the other one's Warped Nylium with us. And then we could have actually grown these things ourselves. But for now, I think I'll just grab some of the wood just for the funsies. Oh, and I forgot you're supposed to bring a hoe with you because I think these are like, yeah, like super slow <laughs> if you just get them. Oh, I love the disgusting noises they make. <laughs> Lol. I'm grabbing some of the mushrooms as well, even though I can't really do anything with them just yet. Now, I'm afraid that the other biome, the warped biome, is quite rare. Um, we are going to need to find one. It is going to be very important and you guys will see why very soon. But I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it without wings um which is going to be impossible because we we can't get wings until we find the warped forest just before i make my way back to safety i am going to take some of this quartz however because that means that we can start building hello come here <laughs> that means that we can start building some quite nice farms that's interesting it makes the noise but you don't get it unless you have silk touch all the sad face just having a quick peek around the corner just in case but i think in the distance that is just fog yeah it is <laughs> i was like oh look a teal color but it is literally just like the fog of this biome which is scary let's get a bit of basalt while we're here as well because it just looks really cool although i suppose we can make it now that i have a lot of this stuff uh i'm just trying to remember how to do it right enough of this let's get home and see what we got Ah, look at that, guys. The nether seems to have melted the snow. <laughs> Means we'll have to start getting ready for spring. But first of all, let's see what we can do with all this stuff. Ooh, I might need to clear a bit of snow off my house, though. Look at that. So the reason it was important to go into the nether was because of some of my crafting tweak recipes. Now, I obviously don't want to use all of these. In fact, let's set up a little temporary vine farm. <laughs> that should do the job. Because the vines... Oh, no, not a crafting table, Kappa's not a crafting table. A furnace. <laughs> let's wait for it. They make blaze rods. And then if we stick these in, let's just put six in. We get blaze powder, which is really interesting. So you can have like both of them. So I probably will end up growing more crimson roots because uh, we'll probably need these more. <laughs> Can't believe I got an advancement for that. And the nether wart has the opposite recipe, which I feel is like something that should be in normal Minecraft that you can just turn it back into nether wart. But that means we can have a little nether wart farm. Here we are, a bit of soul sand and some delicious warts. I'll uh, address that up a bit later. Now the mushrooms and the wood don't do anything per se. Like if I click on recipe, I don't get anything. Although these... Ooh, oh, we'll come back to that in another episode. But yeah, these can make, you know, all of the, the crims and stuff. Oh yeah, I've got some mods on here that I've not talked to you guys about yet, but that's fine. We will get to those, don't you worry. Now we really need to get the warped versions of these because as you've seen from it, the recipes make kind of all of the nether stuff, you know, blaze rods, blaze powder, warts and all that kind of stuff. But the warped stuff actually makes end related things so if i go to the warped warp block and press uses uh -huh, yeah there you go guys that makes our ender pearl so we need both of them the warped and the crimson to actually get ourselves to the end now i'm not normally the kind of person who speeds their way through the game and as i get to the end as fast as possible but to be honest in this one you know there's very little danger um i think i will still have to fight the ender dragon that's that's a thing but it's not difficult i've done it before with other people i should be able to do that by myself and it also like unlocks other things in the game for us like obviously i know i have a backpack but i just i just like shulker boxes 
I just like them, you know, and, the, and there's cool stuff in the end. And it just means that we can get on with like other projects and things. So uh, as soon as I find a warped forest, we 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 be going, we be going. So I need to get some, some better tools and stuff. And hopefully next episode, our little villager friends can help us with that. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a long time in the making, but you know, we're back on track now. Harvest Craft is back and we are getting stuff done. And I will see you guys in the next episode.